And it, this research was first started probably in about the 1950s. And they were doing research on rats because, do you know, they research on rats a lot because their digestive tract and many things are very similar to humans and they live two years. So they can see what would happen to a human in, say, 80 years, what happened to a rat in, in two years. And they found that there were periods of the night where the, where the eyes, uh, the eyelids are closed, but the eyes are active and moving, and then there are periods of the, of the night where the eyes were still. So they put electrodes on the brain and on the eyes, and what they found is when, when the eyes were active, the brain was active. But when the eyes were still, the brain was a little bit more still. Some of the researchers, even their two-year-old children, they had all wired up while they sleep. And, you know, they had lots of volunteers come in. Sometimes they did it on themselves. And they found that across board, the same thing was happening. So what they did was they called the uh, eye moving fast, rapid eye movement time, and the eyes moving slowly, non-rapid eye movement time. So let me show you what happens in those times. So in non-rapid eye movement time, they found that in the brain there's a courier service happening. Now all through the day, everything that happens to us is stored in our hippocampus back here. It's called the short-term storage unit. While we sleep, there's a courier service that takes all of those memories from the day up to the cortex up the top. So that's a courier service happening in non-rapid eye movement time. The other thing that's happening in non-rapid eye movement time is the cleaning system. We just mentioned that, the glymphatic system. So cleanings happen. What they found is that the brain cells seem to shrink up a bit, allowing more fluid between them, and so this cleaning system is happening. So what's cleaned up 